Welcome to the Enter NFT podcast, your go-to hub for knowledge about NFTs, blockchain and crypto in general. We mix it up with your favorite Web3 artists and projects, topped off with the latest news from the Enterverse. My name is Lovecraft and today's topic is Recovering Your Stolen Crypto Assets, the ultimate how-to guide. In this episode, we take a closer look at what users can do when the worst happens and your funds are compromised. Is there any way to recover your stolen assets? Since the internet boom in the 1990s, we have seen several technologies evolve. Things that seemed impossible decades ago became reality. Technologies are turning the world into one tiny global village. Disruptions have taken place in just about every sector, and the wind of change is blowing through the financial sector as we know it. As the world moves away from cash to wireless payments, think Google, PayPal, Stripe, etc., we are seeing increased adoption of cryptocurrencies. Although cryptocurrencies have achieved increased adoption and global attention in the last decade, a negative cloud is forming. This cloud is the susceptibility of individuals, crypto exchanges and DeFi protocols to hacks and thefts. As a result of this cloud, several crypto investors have lost and continue to lose large quantities of their crypto assets. In the first half of 2022 alone, data from Forbes show that losses from crypto theft fraud and hacks amounted to almost $2 billion. dollars. In 2020, this figure for the entire year was $1.9 billion. We have seen 175 hacks in 2022, almost double the 90 we saw in H1 2021. So what are the steps to recover your crypto if stolen? In this complete guide, we delve into the den of thieves. We take a look at pointers to a possible hack and or theft, ways in which hackers and thieves operate to steal crypto, how to recover your funds and how to prevent future breaches. That said, let's go right in. How do you know your crypto wallets have been hacked? Most hackers operate by prowling different protocols and exchanges, looking for weaknesses to exploit. While technological advancements are making crypto wallets more secure than they have ever been, crypto thieves still use social engineering schemes such as hacks and phishing scams to have their way. How do you know that your wallet has been compromised? Simple. If you notice unauthorized transactions with your wallet, especially outflows, then hackers may have found their way into your wallet. If you have set up notifications for transactions on your wallet, you may be better placed to spot criminal transactions quickly and nip them in the bud. 5 ways your crypto assets may be stolen. 1. Compromising your SMS verification process. Crypto thieves who adopt this mode of attack specifically target people who operate with cryptocurrencies a lot. When you use a centralized exchange, very often the two-factor authentication is enabled on your mobile phone. Usually, the aim of a thief here is to intercept SMS verification codes from the centralized exchange. This compromise can occur via different means such as cloning, cloning your SIM card, voice phishing or wiretapping. Once compromised, they use these codes to obtain access to your crypto wallet. 2. Malware Malware never stops being part of the toolbox of cyber thieves and hackers. Malware infections are still popular among crypto hackers and they remain potent against weakly secured crypto assets. How does malware work? Simple. Cyber thieves infect devices with keyloggers that steal your passwords and pins. When the legitimate user of a password or pin enters it into a website, these malware infuse cross scripting infusions into web pages. The passwords and pins are redirected to different malicious websites which are often not noticeable or traceable by your browser. These malicious websites either download the malware or ransomware to a hacker's device or they harvest your sensitive details. You can protect yourself against malware. You should read up on this topic. 3. Phishing attacks This is the most popular and arguably the most effective way crypto thieves and hackers operate. With phishing, the potential victim gives access to their vaults by themselves. Tricked by forged information that looks like legitimate emails and authentic websites of cryptocurrency exchanges. Usually, to increase the potency of a phishing attack, the attackers send quote-unquote confirmation emails to unsuspecting asset owners. These emails contain links that take users to fake websites where they would have to input their authentication details. 
These details are then stolen and used to carry out transactions via the wallet. Detecting potential phishing attacks requires you to carefully and attentively check domain spellings. For example, a phishing email may require you to click on the link to opensea.com, whereas the legitimate website is opensea.io. Also, a secure socket layer certificate, that little padlock on the left side of the address bar on your webpage, must be present before you enter sensitive information. 4. Stealing your secret keys Usually no financial operation occurs with a cryptocurrency without two kinds of keys, private and public keys. Private keys are only available to the owners and they validate all transactions carried out by such owners. Public keys are used to confirm private keys. Private keys are stored in respective crypto wallets and if the owner of a wallet loses their key, the assets are inaccessible forever. By stealing your private key, a thief can transfer all your crypto assets to a different wallet and you could lose them forever. Hot wallets are also a lucrative field for thieves as these wallets usually run with centralized exchanges like Binance or Coinbase wallets. Cold wallets, on the other hand, exist as small hardware devices. They are usually more secure than hot wallets because of their hardware encryption. 5. Mobile applications with poor security infrastructure Although many crypto asset holders do not know this, not many exchanges and trading applications are secure. This could be as a result of poor architecture or security backdoors, making them susceptible for cyber attacks. Often, these platforms are also susceptible to data leakages, such as API keys and sensitive information of users that may have been stored in unencrypted databases. When these attacks occur, crypto assets stored on these exchanges and applications may be stolen by the hackers. How to recover your stolen crypto, a comprehensive guide. This guide will explain what you can do if you lose your assets to crypto thieves, as well as how to avoid becoming a victim in the future. Before you set out to recover your assets, it is important to first determine if recovery will be worth it, because it is expensive to try to recover your stolen crypto assets. It is important to weigh your options before you go in that route. It is up to you whether it is worth the while to get professional help or simply let the assets go. This is especially true if your investment portfolio isn't largely made up of crypto assets. That said, these three tips can help you get back your stolen crypto assets. 1. Use a bounty hunter or recovery service. There are websites that allow you to post bounties if you are willing and able to pay reasonable amounts to get your funds back. A blockchain locator expert will investigate the theft and determine if the assets are recoverable for a given price. Bitcoin Bounty Hunter is a great place to start with the recovery process. It is important to note, however, that these services are often expensive and often do not provide additional information beyond what is publicly available. You can also use blockchain explorers like Snowtrace, for example, for the Avalanche blockchain or BSC Scan for the Binance blockchain to track movement of crypto and potentially identify the owner of the addresses that are used to move the stolen crypto. Number two, contact the police if applicable. While official complaints won't help you to recover stolen cryptocurrency, filling out some paperwork or having a case number is not an entirely bad idea. You never know if you will end up with an insurance claim or a lawsuit. Evidence that shows that you took the theft seriously can help you if you need to prove that you are right. P.S. Contacting the authorities may not yield any kind of result if your country of residence has either outrightly banned cryptocurrency or do not recognize them as legitimate financial assets. It may prove counterproductive to report, as this act may land you in hot waters with the authorities. Number 3. Contact the exchange involved. If you discover that your crypto assets have been stolen due to an attempt to hack your account, you should act immediately. Delaying the tracking process allows hackers to cover the traces by transferring your assets to cold wallets and subsequently to another exchange. If your exchange is well known, you are more likely to get help. If you take action quickly, you can freeze your assets on the platform depending on the stage or magnitude of the theft. However, note that exchanges are not mandated by law to help. Additionally, the governments of some nations do not consider cryptocurrencies an asset, which may reduce the likelihood of governmental support. To get across to your exchange, 
simply check out the Contact Us page on the Exchange's website. Five tips that can help you prevent future theft. Here are a few tips that can help you prevent future losses of your crypto assets to thieves. 1. Enable multi-factor authentication. First, make sure multi-factor authentication is enabled in your exchanges. You use an authenticator app like Authy or Google Authenticator instead of SMS. Where it is possible to operate without the SMS authentication option, you can turn it off. Set up your encryption using a different email address from your primary email address and your unique password. We recommend that you create a new email account that will only be used for cryptocurrency accounts and transactions. This reduces the likelihood that your email will be used as a target against you. 2. Use a hard or cold wallet and spread assets across different exchanges. Store your cryptocurrencies offline in a cold or hard wallet. With cold wallets, your private keys that give you access to your tokens are cold stores. That means they are stored on a hardware device that is not connected to the internet. Usually, private keys can either be stored by hardware encryption, so-called cold wallets, or software encryptions, which are hot wallets. With software encryption, there are always risks of cyber attacks and your funds could be drained, like the Solana attack that drained over 8,000 wallets of about $8 million. Additionally, several crypto exchanges have been the subject of hacks or thefts recently. Spread your investment across different centralized and decentralized exchanges to reduce the chance of your funds being stolen. 3. Keep your wallets safe. The extra layer of security may make it a bit more difficult to complete tasks on your wallet, but it is important if you want to protect your funds from intruders. So, if you own a crypto wallet, make sure that there are adequate security checks in place and use them wherever possible. After all, no security measure is out of the question when your valuable crypto assets are at stake. 4. Improve your overall security apparatus. Take time to improve the overall security of the exchanges and gadgets you use to interact with your crypto assets. Learn more about gadget security and how you can improve it. 5. Protect your remaining assets. If there are any of your crypto holdings left in the compromised wallet, it goes without saying that you should move them out immediately when you realize that they have been compromised. Delete such a wallet and get a new one to replace it. Change the pins, passwords and security codes associated with your account on the affected exchange immediately. Change the email account connected with the account immediately. If there is any reason to believe that the device you use to log into your account is compromised, please reformat this device or, better still, quit using it altogether for crypto transactions. Final words. It sucks to have your hard-earned crypto assets stolen. Worse still, sometimes these crypto assets may have been worth thousands or millions of dollars. More than many of us will ever make in their lifetimes. However, recovering your funds and preventing a recurrence of such is more important. If you follow these tips provided in this episode, you are unlikely to become a victim of crypto thefts, or at least not to devastating proportions. And that wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for listening on this episode of the Enter NFT podcast. The content was taken from Enter.blog and we would like to thank guest author Shidera Anushiem for this contribution. If you like what we do, subscribe and make sure you leave us some stars or a review and of course help spread the word by recommending us to your friends. Follow Enter NFT on your favorite social media platform to stay on top of all things Enter. I'll see you next time. 